pH of wine is important to determine because it can affect the quality of your final product in terms of taste, color, potential for oxidation, chemical and physical stability, as well as the microbial health of the wine. In winemaking, the higher pH reading, the lower amount of acidity in the wine. Three important factors to determining the pH of wine include the total amount of acid present, the ratio of malic acid to tartaric acid, and the amount of potassium in solution. Hannah Instruments has put together a wine kit using our Edge HI2020 pH meter. When you receive your kit, you'll get a wine-specific electrode, a magnetic stirrer, and all the solutions needed to perform your calibrations and maintenance. The edge meter itself comes unassembled, packaged with all the accessories in a nicely covered box. Inside is the edge HI2020 pH meter, the meter base, the electrode holder, a wall mount with screws, the power supply, and a small box of pH 4.01, 7.01, and 10.01 calibration sachet. To assemble the meter, place the electrode holder onto the pin located in the rotating section of the base. Next, put the meter into place. The next step is to place the electrode into the holder. Let's take a look at what comes included with the electrode. Inside this box is the HI10480 wine-specific electrode for the edge meter. A cap filled with storage solution is already in place. Inside is a small bottle of extra storage solution, a small bottle of electrolyte, and a plastic pipette. It's important to examine the electrolyte level inside your electrode before use. The electrolyte should be at least half inch from the fill hole. If the electrolyte is below the minimum level, Use your pipette to refill the electrode. Another tip for accurate measurement with this electrode is to remove the cap and shake it in a downward motion. This will release any potential air bubbles that may have formed during shipping. You also want to ensure that the sleeve junction is securely fastened down to prevent the electrolyte from leaking out when the fill hole cap is removed. The next step in assembly is to place the electrode and plug it into the meter. The proper way to do this is to insert the electrode into one of the slots in the holder and press down until it's securely in place. Next, run the wire up through the slots and bring the plug behind the meter. Pull the plug through this opening in the bottom of the assembly and plug it in. Next, Plug in the power supply and turn the meter on. The meter will show it recognizes the electrode and also give you a probe condition. pH electrodes are considered a wearable part, so it's important to know your probe's condition so that you'll be aware when it's time to replace it. For optimum performance, Hanna Instruments generally recommends you replace electrodes annually. Next, we'll want to calibrate the meter. With the edge meter, the calibration information is stored in your digital electrodes. This enables you to use the same electrode in multiple meters without having to recalibrate. Because of this, it's a good idea to clear the calibration data before you begin calibrating. To do this, press the Cal button. Once in calibration mode, press the Setup Clear button and then the GLP Confirm button. The screen will show you that your calibration data has been cleared. Before you begin calibration, get your magnetic stirrer into place and pour your pH 3 and pH 7.01 buffers into clean beakers. Place a stir bar in each beaker and have an empty beaker handy for rinsing your electrode. Now, rinse your electrode with distilled water to remove any salt residue from the storage solution. Calibrate your edge, enter calibration mode. It will ask you to use pH 7.01 buffer first. For wine, we recommend using your pH 3 buffer first. To change the buffer setting, use the down arrow key. It will go to 6.86, then 3. Once you've set the meter to read pH 3 buffer, place your beaker onto the magnetic stirrer and turn the stirrer on. You want to make sure there is no vortex being formed inside the beaker. 
A vortex means the stir is spinning too fast, and it can alter your readings by introducing air into the sample. Once the buffer is stirring, place the electrode inside the beaker and wait for a stable reading. Once the reading has stabilized, press confirm and the meter will ask you for the next buffer, pH 7.01. Turn the stirrer off and place your empty beaker under the electrode to rinse with distilled water. This will prevent any cross-contamination from your buffers. Once rinsed, place your pH 7.01 beaker onto the magnetic stirrer and turn the stirrer on. Place the electrode into the 7.01 buffer and wait for a stable reading. Once stable, press confirm. To complete your two-point calibration, press the Cal button and your calibration will be saved. Now that you have your two-point calibration, you can begin testing the pH of your wine. Remember to rinse the electrode with distilled water before each use. Thanks for stopping by and we hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to the channel for more updates on products and services from Hanna Instruments. See you soon!